Hello folks and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Persona 2 Blind. Uh, last we left off, um, we had uh, just uh, found out that in <laughs> we can manifest a persona which is somehow co connected to our um, psyche and uh, our own inner strengths and uh, whatever it was uh, really uh, interesting and strange. However, Ego uh, here explained some of it to us, and uh, now we're apparently off to the real world again. Until then. Okay. Farewell. Yeah. Back to you as well. I should have cut that episode a bit differently, but I didn't know when that dialogue would end. Okay, just open your eyes and check out who it is. You're awake. Yep, looks like. Um, uh, how do you feel? Well, bloody brilliant now that I'm not unconscious or fighting strange demon folk. I won't be asking why you're here, I'm just glad that someone is. Thank goodness you finally came too. <laughs> How much sleep do you need? It's been a whole week. What? Seriously, I've been unconscious for a week. <laughs> I was so worried about you. Hmm. Thank you for that. Oh yeah, this is Tatsumi Memorial Hospital. It's just a short walk from the station. <laughs> what did you tell the nurses and doctors here? The doctor couldn't find anything wrong with you. He said you were just exhausted. Yeah, some kind of alarm bell should be ringing if nothing can be like, diagnosed to be actually wrong and the guy just keeps sleeping for seven days. <laughs> but you kept sleeping and sleeping. You know how worried I was? I, I can kind of hear it in your voice. You were pretty worried. Um... And I don't think I'm not I'm grateful sorry, I for that anything. worry. Even though I was supposed to protect you, I... Hey, it worked out in the end. But your power... It was amazing. <laughs> Kinda took myself by surprise with that. Ah, uh, I can... I actually know what I did, but what were those things? You mean the shadows? Uh, yeah, those ones. They're what we're fighting against. Cool. Uh, so, the next question, who are you? And the power you used, we call it Persona. Mm -hmm. We'll explain everything later. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. No, it's okay. Uh, I guess if you would have told me, I would have just called you a crazy person. I had to see it to believe it. I, uh... I wanted to tell you that... I'm sort of like you. What? Ah, okay. Um, that's kind of... Yeah, I wouldn't ask her quite in those words. My dad died in an accident when I was little. Ah. My mom and I aren't exactly on good terms. Okay, so you got some baggage from before, too. Uh, I seem to recall seeing something, uh, hearing some folks talking about, um, oh yeah, it was our homeroom teacher, like, uh, ten years ago. Oh, 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 let's not go there. You're all alone too, right? Mm, yep. To be honest, I already know about your past. But it didn't seem fair, so I wanted you to know about mine. Thanks for that. It was back in 99. There was a big explosion in the area. Hmm, what caused it? Supposedly, my dad died in the blast. But nobody really knows what happened. He was working in a lab run by the Kirijo group. So, I'm hoping that if I stick around long enough, I'll find out something. Hmm. Understandable. One thing to know how That's why I'm going to get to Kong High, and why I was there when this happened to you. 
Of course, I panicked and wasn't much help. It was my first time fighting them too. Hmm, cool. Another novice then. I'm sorry. You wouldn't have to go through all this if I wasn't such a coward. I wouldn't call it coward is exactly being afraid to blow your own pra brains out actually, but... I can't say that because I honestly... I don't think I was scared. I would have wanted to go downstairs and check the others before actually fleeing, but... Yeah, let's go with that one. Thanks, but still... Here I am telling you all this the minute you wake up. Oh, hey, I'm not complaining about that at all. I want to know every single bit about this, because this is just too frigging weird. While I was waiting, I thought to myself, I've been hiding so many things from him. As soon as he wakes up, I'll tell him the truth. Mm. Very big of you. Thank you. So, thanks for listening. I've been wanting to share that story with someone for a long time. Mm, welcome. Maybe All one right. day I'll tell you I'm mine, get going. even though you apparently know it already. I'll let the others know you woke up. Take it sure. easy, okay? Be a good patient. Hey, I don't think I need to be patient anymore. I've already... And don't hesitate to call the nurse. Oh, well. Uh, I guess I'm a bit peckish. Maybe she can give me something to eat, even though I'm sure hospital she'll take good food care is... Of you. Bleh. Bye bye. I guess it was Friday the 17th of uh, April. Yeah. Mm. I feel pretty good. What is it? Sure. The door of the school. Eh. I can do that. No problem. Are you? Oh, I can relate, but still, shouldn't be saying that to. Uh, to your te uh, students. <laughs> From books and paying attention in class. I'd have to say uh, how tools were made. Save file. Ooh, slow down. 
Thanks. Uh, just uh, to make sure that there are no one here. Huh. Small earthquake. earthquake. I, <laughs> I'm personally from a place where, uh, like, the worst kind of natural natural catastrophe is that there's a tiny bit too much snow and people uh, can't uh, cope with it in highways and there's a pileup. So yeah, I really can't relate at all with like having. Um, having to be afraid of uh, tsunamis or earthquakes or volcanoes or what whatever <laughs> feels really weird for me. I couldn't ever live in uh, live in Japan or uh, along other like fault lines. Nah, I think I'll just head to the fourth floor straight away. No need to poke my nose into any of the rooms here. Oh, hey, you cutting? I know you told me to come here, but still, I didn't expect you to be just standing there waiting for me. Ah, there you are. Yes, I sure am. I'm glad that you're okay. The reason I asked you here is because I needed to talk to you. Yeah, well, if you can explain to me some of this stuff, I need to talk Please, to you as well. Have a seat. Sure. Oh, before that. Mm -hmm. I believe I mentioned him earlier, but this is Akihiko. Yeah, I've met him through a door once, I think, but... How you doing? Hey. Okay, let me start off by asking you this. Mm -hmm. Would you believe me if I said that a day consists of more than 24 hours? Yeah, it kind of does. That's why we have leap years. <laughs> Let's go with that. <laughs> I'm not surprised by your reaction. However, you've already experienced this truth firsthand. Yeah, I guess I have. When it strikes 12 midnight, something weird happens. Do you remember the night you came here? Yep. You had to have noticed the signs. Yeah, the coffins in the streets and like uh, everything the electronic going. Out, yeah. Nothing was working. There were coffins everywhere. Yeah, like I said. Didn't it feel like you were in a different time? No, it kind of felt like I was going insane. But yeah, let's go with that. Let's That's the dark hour, a time period hidden between one day and the next. Okay. Hidden, but we have found it somehow. I guess it's more like something people aren't aware of. Mm -hmm. But the dark hour does exist. It occurs each night at midnight. Right. It'll happen tonight and every night to come. I can do that. Normal people don't realize it since they're all sleeping inside their coffins. Which isn't morbid at all. <laughs> but. That's not what makes the dark hour so interesting. Uh, I guess it's the shadows that do that. You saw those creatures. Yeah, I got entangled with a few of them. We call them shadows. They only appear during the dark hour and attack anyone not in a coffin. But what the heck are they? Why do they attack It's our one? job to defeat them. Not in the coffin. Sounds exciting, huh? Uh, it would sound exciting if I knew why we were doing that. Akihiko, why are you always like that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, a bit too macho for my tastes. Uh, anyway, we are closing in on the 15 minute mark once again. And uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. And uh, yeah, join me again in the next episode. See you later. Bye for now. <laughs>